Josh and I were um, on a vacation. Usually we, we try – at this stage in my life, I try and do one adventure with him a year, yeah. right? And so this is a couple years ago and we were so excited to be in Italy and it was a particular place where the way you get around is on scooter. There's not that many cars on this particular island. And I hadn't ridden a scooter in like 20 years, but I was like, ah, oh, it can't be that difficult. I could totally do this. So we rented these scooters and this is like in the middle of July, which it is hot as anything in Europe in the middle of July. Yeah. So I had on shorts and sneakers and we're like going over this rental place and um, I don't speak much. Italian and the folks who ran the woman who was actually the owner of the rental place didn't speak much English. And so while we were renting our scooters, you know, she's like, hey, you know, do basically do you need us to tell you what to do? And I was like, yes, please tell me anything. Tell me everything. And so she kind of walked me through the motions. He was like, like a disa to give a break, like a disa to give a gas. And I was like, okay, amazing. I thought I got it. Put on the helmet. Josh and I are like going out in front of the rental scooter place and I cannot believe, I don't even know how this happened, but somehow I both gassed it and braked it like full on at the same God. time. Within like three seconds, the scooter <clears throat> like popped, flipped, landed on top of me on the asphalt. It was I cannot even believe, I don't even know how it happened. Thank God there were no other cars around. Yeah. There were no other scooters around. I didn't break anything, which was like a miracle because I landed on bare skin. Mm -hmm. And the uh, folks from the rental scooter place and Josh, like they like heaved the bike off of me. And I don't know if any of you guys relate, like have you ever tripped or like something bad happens, you fall or there's some type of accident and you feel this wave of shame? Totally. Like this total wave of shame and mm -hmm. embarrassment. Like even though you've almost practically died, like all you're like, oh my God, I'm such an idiot. Like I was so engulfed with embarrassment mm. and humiliation and also just physically shaken up. Like it was the same feeling like uh, when Josh and I were hit pretty bad in an accident several years ago where your body that. is just like vibrating. Yeah. And of course, the folks from the rental agency were like, oh, you know, like, let's don't, take, sue us. Don't, <laughs> don't sue us. Let's take that bike back. Yeah. Like, why don't we give him a bigger bike and you can just sit on the back and be a passenger and like, la, 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 look around Italy. And in that moment, I had a choice. And it was the choice of get back up right. and learn to ride or be a passenger. And I chose get back up and learn to ride because... I didn't want the fear of scooters and scootering and driving to like calcify in my bones. And I knew that I'd done this before and I knew that if I had better instruction that I could totally do it. And so I took it really slow and I had them explain to me and I just breathed through the fear and I got really present and didn't try and make it go away, but just like actually experienced all of it. And it was just a great reminder about how often all of us wipe out in life. Like all of us, whether it's physically, yeah. emotionally, spiritually, financially, creatively, all of us face plant. And so it's not a matter of whether or not we are going to face plant. The matter is, are you going to get back up and ride again? Mm. Well, you say, just because I made a mistake and messed up didn't mean I was going to give up. Yes. And when I read that, I wrote right next to it, I was like, that is so her. <laughs> That's so her. Meanwhile, I would have hired a driver for my Vespa. <laughs> okay, that is not so me. I would be like, Stanley. You would have your gin and tonic. I would. You would. Absolutely. I would need a